Okay, it's playing. Just don't move. Okay. Six months ago, the American government segregated, declaring civil war and leaving its citizens to try and survive in the fallout. I was staying with my boyfriend, Louis, when their bombs reached us. They've reached everyone. We're just casualties to them. The world has finally exploded. There's nothing to hold on to. We have to escape. They took everything. They took everything! You're just gonna throw that away for blood? Kayla! You are so focused on just going in there and killing everyone. Have you ever loved anything in your entire you life? You have no idea what hurt is. No! Please! <laughs> It's not my fucking fight! There's no escaping this! I need you in this with me. I feel lost. Everything is dying. But we can't stop. For anyone who is out there, anyone who needs to escape, join us. It won't go back to the way it was. And no, we cannot defeat them. Burn everything. You have this delusion of taking down the whole system. From that, we will rise and take our stand. We are Phoenix. I'm at work. Oh, me too. Uh, I just... What do you want? Well, I just wanted to clear something up from last night. I... Whoa, wait, hold on. No, 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 hear me out. I just wanted to apologize for being so gassy after sex last night. My legs were spread... Okay, wow. Leslie, you're on speakerphone. What? I'm in a meeting and you're on speakerphone. What? Why didn't you tell me? I tried, but you cut me off. Well, you suck at telling people important information! Really? Fine. But now my whole office now knows about your gas problem. You're a gas problem! Okay, bye, Leslie. You have vagina dentata! What? Your old face looks like Fatty Arbuncle. Bye. Call me later? Today is a very special day on the ERP, my radio station, because we have Compton and Scotty Stone coming in for live interviews. Compton is a gangster rapper, and Scotty Stone is the lead singer of a rock band, Punching December. So yeah, fuck you, Barbara Walters. Today is also a very special day because we have you college guys, University of you know, somewhere, coming in to film everything today. Oh boy, Amy. I feel like one of those sex predators on Dateline, don't you? No. Yeah, right. Are you still free Saturday night? Stop talking. Rain check? Die. Touche. Sarah Stewart's coming in today. What? 
Fucking lie, she's gonna ruin the whole film. Because you've had more office complaints, so she's just checking in to make sure you're not, you know, making fun of someone with cerebral palsy on air. That was one time, and that guy was an asshole. They called him a retard. Tomato, potato, same thing. Sarah Stewart is a prick. She's the CEO of the company that owns this radio station and has been after my show for years. I don't know why. Is it because I get to make a difference in millions of people's lives, like a president? Maybe. Is it because I get to interview super cool celebs? Who knows? Whenever she's here, I just try to remember that old uh, Buddhist monk proverb, ye who speaks without knowledge is a dickweed. I hate him. I just, I hate him. Today on ERP, we have one of the hottest rappers out right now, Compton. His manager, Busta Dirty, and his bodyguard, Prada. Compton is on his debut album tour and will be performing in D.C. live tonight. Compton, how you doing? Man, good bitch. We be rolling hard, playing that PS triple and shit. Capping a popo like we on chicken grease. I have no idea what you just said. Look, honky, it's our time to shine life or death. We be doing disheveled gangster things with gats and angry body language. Bust the dirty. Holla, the album just went down with Mr. Radio Rogers. The lyrics speak to the young dudes. Sounds as fuck when you a baby daddy smoking that weed and make life hypothetically. Shit's real, boo. Wow. So, uh, tell us more about this CD. It's called African Ponage. It's about the continent, Africa. Reclaiming its name as the motherland at pimp slapping hoe kicks. Yes, it took us a while to formulate the title of the album, but I believe it's the true essence of what it is to grow up in a sweaty, ghetto ass booty. So, uh, what are the new tracks on this album? Bitch, this whole city is about me, being me, a hardcore manicorn SOB. You feel my jello area yet, man? I'm talking real urban tales of crazy, nasty jive. And people with glass faces can't be talking because we will break it with violence in a peaceful gesture. And, and fools be like, you the baby daddy. He got to be, bitch, I'm gay. I don't play that. Yeah, doggy, I feel ya. I got rhymes like sucking on a hose baby toes and stroll by as a jeep. Now, what exactly does that mean? Don't worry about it. Just know that shit's just getting real up in the H-Wood. You know what I mean? I don't. I really don't. Uh, so anyways, in a little bit, we'll be back with more from Compton. And later on the show, we'll have Scotty Stone on to talk about his latest sex scandal. What do I do before a show to get ready? Uh, well, first, I work my articulators. Uh, the tip of the tongue, you go, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. We do that sometimes in the radio station. Also, we like to uh, stretch our faces out, I guess. And then I like to say that, I guess. And I say that. And then I guess. It also helps uh, most of the time to get centered before we start the show. You know, weight evenly distributed, shoulders back but not forced straight back, different things like that. It helps us get ready for the show. So we are back on the show with Scotty Stone. Scotty, what's going on? I feel like a rapist and a proud black woman rolled up into a giant sphincter that is out to press some joyful lives. You know what I mean? Not at all. Uh, so tell us about this new hit single. What's so different about this song? Yes. Uh, it's about a woman, correct? 
Oh yeah, her name is Christy, but can we not talk about her? I don't want her to hear us. Ah, so she's close to you. Very. She's the deaf girl that lives in my head. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, Compton was telling us about his tour. How's yours going? It's like a rush of love. But really, they hate you for being there because you're so good. My songs are amazing. I can vouch for them. They're so new, so political. Like, they aren't about current events. Like the song, The Future Is That Way. It's about events in a time where events don't exist. What the fuck are you talking about? Just like being a boy game. Yeah, I think I got you. Like, we only live life the way society tells us to. No, wait, what? Uh, never mind, never mind. Uh, let's get back to the real reason you're on this show. Your latest sex scandal. It's all over the news. How do you feel about it? It's your, like your second one, right? Six. Um, L.A. parties are just like that, bro. Of course, they just don't understand that. Man, you bang like four midgets. And two this. And Ellie don't like the side of me was willing creatures. <laughs> Already tried it. Ain't like I got a disease or something. Um, you got the clap, don't you? Oh, yeah. But whatever. I'll make a song about it. I got the clap. I got the clap. Woo! I got the clap. I got the clap. Clap, 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 clap. It burns when I pee. Man, I can't do this no more. I got the clap, clap. Cause it burns when I pee. Oh, it burns when I pee. It burns, it burns when I pee. Damn. We be in there talking real life, and then that bitch ass honky comes in and starts spraying avant garde bullshit like it's some type of real knowledge. Players in the H Wood love that scandal hype when it be all fake jello and shit. Yes, I did have a sexual encounter with a deer, and later a duck. <laughs> they don't mess around in South Beach. So we are back here with Compton and Scotty Stone. Now, before we continue with the q and I'd like to remind our listeners of tomorrow's debate topic. Fat people can wear whatever they like because they always look bad. So rude at its called proportions. Damn. Exactly. Now, let's get back to our guests. Scotty, before we went on break, we were talking about your latest sex scandal. Now, do you think you're actually going to get something out of this one, or are you just in the shit can again? I don't know. Maybe a porno deal. Hell yeah. Bust it at Derby. Well, I have an idea for a porno. Uh, it, it'll be like a parody on a movie. I don't think they've done that before. Except in every other porno. Yeah. Well, maybe. But it would be called Edward Clitterhands. Well, I don't think anyone would see that. Uh, speak for yourself. Well, I mean, I have a face for radio. I could have a face for a porno, right? Wait, did someone say dildo? <laughs> nah, I'm good for now. Yeah, it's really just a money-making opportunity. It's not the actual size, but it could be. This is a penis. Where did you acquire the penis? I made it from scratch, but I haven't tested its quality yet. So where do you say we get one of those? Why do you care? You ain't gay. Yes I am. My name's Prada. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gay? He's gay? Fuck yeah. Homos be crazy, son. Remember that scar on my trapezes? Gay dude did it. That's hardcore chicken grease. They don't mess around in South Beach. Ho hold up. We didn't do anything when I was drunk, right? No. Maybe. What? There's a penis on your face. Oh, yeah, I know. 
I'm Sarah Stewart, CEO of this radio station and shows like That's Not My Baby and Surprise, You're Naked. But from what I've heard, today has actually been less offensive and lawsuit worthy than most days. It's still a meaningful effort to switch from FM to satellite though. You know, cut back on complaints about the show topics and main host, and ultimately resulting in me having to spend less time here with Leslie. Yo, yo, troll mill CD, I gotta... All right, and we're back with Scotty Stone. Scotty, how does it feel to be a gigantic fuckhead? What? Please, enlighten us some more with your stupid jackass wisdoms, you dick. Hold on, wait a minute. Is this about that cock in the face thing? Maybe. Yes! Do you know what it's like to be slapped in the face with a gigantic penis? Yes. yes. All right, well, I didn't know that, but you still need to get your head out of your ass. I keep hearing someone talk about an ass. Um, can I know what's going on? I second that. Look, Groville, if you got a problem with the stone, let's beat the shit out of each other like men. Man, this show sucks anyway. Fine, you fudge-packing prick. Ten minutes boxing match for control of the show. Yes, I've had boxing experience. Some say I may have even become a boxing champion like Apollo Creed or Donatello. But I was disqualified during my first fight, even though I knocked the other guy down first. Apparently, repeated punching to the genitals is not proper boxing. It wasn't fair, but look where I am now. A champion of Kingdom Radio. I'm planning on dropping the fucker like an illegitimate child. I got no qualms or protest about living my life as a pimp. It's all Jess and Greasers, and I'm the fucking playboy in the middle, baby. I'm gonna fuck you! Oh, fuck! What the fuck happened out there, Leslie? Do you really want this show to have another lawsuit? I got hit in the face with a massive homemade dildo. Do you know what that's like? To have a penis mark on your face for all of the radio public to see? No, I don't. And I'm sorry. But get control of your show! Look, I know this is really bad, but I need this. You need to get punched in the face? Fuck! I'll punch you in the face! That's not what I mean. You know I've been going through a really bad divorce lately. This show is the only thing that's good in my life right now. And I'm not going to let some sex-obsessed junkie blastify my show with blasphemy! I know, Leslie. You're a good guy and an interesting host. Just don't turn this into another gigantic fuck-up like you normally do. Thanks. It's good to have a win every once in a while, you know? Yeah, I know. Mark and I broke off the engagement. What? Why? That's wrong and queer as fuck! Make this work for the both of us. He can talk the talk, but he can't walk the walker. Fuck yeah! Don't have me. Do you want to hang out? Not really. Just go finish the show. Will do, kind lady. Sure. Hey, Mark. Yeah, we're meeting for dinner tonight, and you're bringing the guest list for the wedding? Fantastic. Love you, babe. Bye. This shit's gonna be fuck nutty. I ain't seen a brawl like this since the 1985 Milwaukee Church Festival. And we gonna throw down like it's a dirty baby crew party, okay? I know, that's right, we got this. Hey! Oh! Run, motherfuckers! I don't get paid enough to do this. I... I ain't do shit. I got 14 kids to feed. Do you really think I can afford another arrest? Bitch, your ass is crazy. Peace. I didn't do shit. I'm not mad. Really? 
Of course I'm mad! What the shit happened out there? Gangsta shit! I know! Then why are you yelling? Because you're incompetent! Now get yourself together! I have phone calls to make. Fine! But I feel like you're mad at me when the punch thing wasn't my fault. Yes it was, fucktard! Everything's been your fault since you were born! Fine! Go break yourself, fool! I ain't no crybaby bitch! Am I in trouble? <laughs> Overall, I think it was a good day. Wow, this looks awesome. <laughs> Catch it! Alright, let's run through one so, more time. Yeah. Where the hell this is, is a Keon? penis? Watch Someone call Keon. So nice. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You just got I really hope you he didn't get back too far. Please. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I think I did. Yes. 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 You get it. Yeah. Yeah. And fools be like, you get it. And I'm like, bitch, bitch, that's my baby. You're the baby daddy. You got your back? Bitch, I'm good. You got it? Do it. Backwards. Yeah, I got it. He got it. He's doing it. And fools be like, you gay. Well, congratulations. People now know. Action. So, uh, tell me about the tracks on your album. Bitch! This no. was no. <laughs> that, that did not even be a take. That was a <laughs> Bitch! And action. It's, it's like a rush of love. But really, they hate you for being that. Start over. Action. It's like a rush of love. But really, they hate you for being there because you're so good. That line? Yes, yeah, that line. The whole thing. Oh, oh, the, oh, the whole oh, monologue. Gotcha. Whole... My songs are amazing. I can vouch for them. They're so new, like, so political. Like, they aren't about current events. Like, like you gave me that look and I thought you were going to say, you're so good. My songs are amazing. I can vouch for them. They're so new. So political. So political. Shit. <laughs> so political. Poli 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 so political. My songs are amazing. I can vouch for them. They're so new. So political. Like the events. Are so political. Shit. <laughs> What? 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 <laughs> Fine, you fudge packing shit. Oh. What the fuck did you just do in there? I started a fire, motherfucker. Well, I didn't know that, but, duh, I don't know what I said. Gigantic fuckhead. What? Fuck my life. <laughs> I keep hearing something about an ass. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> I second that. Look, Broville, if you got a problem with the stone, let's beat the shit out, shit out of you. Ah, Please, enlighten us with some more of your wisdoms, you giant dickhead. That wasn't the line. Action. Just start over, <laughs> An ass. Um, I wouldn't know what's going on.
I second that. <laughs> look, look, Broville, if you got a problem with the shit, Sarah. Today on the ERP, we have the hottest rapper out right now, Compton. His fuck oh. now, Compton. His body got fuck. This rapper's out right now, Compton. His fuck. I have no idea what you just said. Look, honky, it's all time to shine, life or death. We be doing. Compton, how you doing? Man, good bitch, we be rolling hard. Playing on that p Fucking. <laughs> well, maybe. But the title, oh fuck. I am. Well, maybe, but it would be called Monty Python and the Holy Gooch, Forrest Hump, The Never Ending Orgy, Eight Crazy Cocks, Lord of the Cock Rings, Lord of the Condom Rings, King Dong, Rambone, Skanks on a Plane, Twelve Angry Cunts, Where the Limb Things Are, Forty Year Old Twat, V for Vagina. Goodwill fucking. Horton hears a whore. Edward Clitterhands. <laughs> Action. Well, maybe. But it would be called Toy Story 2. <laughs> and two dares! 